On the racetrack, the shape of a car can give it an aerodynamic edge over the competition. So in NASCAR races, car bodies must have uniform curves. The regulations put the focus on driver skill and make the race a fair one. They mold some of the car's body parts from a carbon fiber and Kevlar material. First, a technician applies a release agent to a mold for the car's front end. Then he sprays a paint undercoat into it. This undercoat will eventually transfer to the completed panel. A computerized cutter slices the carbon fiber and Kevlar fabric into strips. It produces 22 pieces, each one cut to fit a different section of the mold. The technician rolls epoxy resin onto the fabric, one strip at a time. Once the strip has been completely coated, he transfers it to the mold. He tucks the fabric into the contours and smooths out any big wrinkles. He layers the strips three deep in a crisscross configuration for structural integrity. A co-worker covers the carbon fiber with perforated plastic. They add layers of absorbent polyester and thick plastic, which they glue to the edge of the mold. They insert a fitting and connect a vacuum, which sucks out air and excess epoxy resin. The polyester material soaks up the resin as it flows through the holes in the first plastic layer. This both smooths and compacts the carbon fiber layers. Then it's into a hot oven to bake for three hours. This activates the epoxy and combines the layers of carbon fiber and Kevlar fabric. An employee removes the completed stock car panel and inspects it. Then it's over to a weigh station. At just under eight pounds, the part is lightweight yet virtually shatterproof.